urgent and sustainable multi-stakeholders approach is needed to combat rising poverty in Nigeria. The Policy Innovation Center, PIC, made this remark at the 2024 Gender and Inclusion Summit held in Abuja. According to the 2024 Global Gender Gap Index of the World Economic Forum, it would take about 134 years to reach full parity. This is about five generations after the 2030 target of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. At the 2024 Gender and Inclusion Summit, a multi-stakeholders approach is being adopted to discuss and co-create relevant solutions for gender and inclusion in Nigeria and to address the spate of poverty for a true democracy. To amazing our collective wisdom and our actionable insights to confront this pervasive challenge head on. Our aim is to create solutions that will directly lead to the reduction of inequality and deprivations that have stifled progress for far too long. Addressing these challenges and identifying a right of approaches to combat poverty and inequality is crucial as ending poverty and reducing inequality are critical to the attainment of the sustainable development goals. For development partners as they enhance in financial innovation and access, Athena, there is the need for all to leverage on research-based finance report to achieve closure in the gender gap. In the Gender Center for Excellence, we have a repository of information. We have the access to finance report. Now, the A2F is a biannual report, which FINA, in conjunction with the National Bureau of Statistics, um, publishes after carrying out a nationwide survey. And there are specific insights related to women's financial inclusion, which at this annual event we would like to showcase so that all the stakeholders who attend, they know that from the Gender Center for Excellence, there is a resource they can consult, they can get some good insights from, and take those insights and let them inform what they develop. So Nigeria will only build sustainable economic opportunities for women by building a platform for them to stand on, by uprooting gender-blind systems and replanting them with ones that truly prioritize and support women to thrive. We need to stop thinking of women as charity cases and start thinking about them as economic actors. The summit brought together global and national policy makers, business leaders, gender-focused organizations who explored innovative approaches to tackle poverty through the lens of gender and social inclusion. On Noshorena Obozege, AIT News, Abuja.